Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. So I've been living in Germany for many years now and even now after all these years I will often see a German doing something or acting in a certain way or I'll hear them saying something that makes me think that right there was so German. The funny thing is most of the time they will have no idea that what they're doing is just so typically German and people from other countries just don't do these things. These things are specifically distinctively German. So I thought it would be fun to put together a list of little things Germans do that are just so very German. Okay, so let's jump into it. As I said, this is a very random list. So in no particular order, something that Germans do all the time, like almost on a daily basis, especially in the winter time. So here in Germany, when somebody sneezes, the automatic response is Gesundheit. It doesn't matter who that person is. It could be a friend, a stranger, a family member. It doesn't matter. The response from a German will always be Gesundheit. The actual translation of Gesundheit is health, but it basically basically just means bless you and if you're German and you're watching this you're probably thinking but you say bless you in English isn't that the same thing it kind of is but it's not used on the same scale as Gesundheit like we don't have to say it we do sometimes say it after somebody sneezes but in Germany if you don't say Gesundheit to the person who has just sneezed it is like the height of rudeness and Germans just they will automatically say Gesundheit it doesn't matter if you know you're out in public and that person has no idea who you are and you sneeze that person will say Gesundheit and you'll say Danke I will never forget when I first moved to Germany my German husband or boyfriend at the time sneezed and I didn't say anything and I just remember him looking at me in disbelief and I was like what and he said you didn't say bless you and I was like oh oh bless you sorry and he looked really like I don't know he was kind of like offended and I was thinking that's really weird because I mean maybe I should have said it but you know you don't have to say it he was thinking that bless you kind of held the same weight as Gesundheit and he just thought it was so rude that I didn't say it to him and then I realized like he explained to me oh in Germany you have to say Gesundheit like it's really rude if you don't and then I clicked I have never made that mistake again if I hear somebody sneeze it doesn't matter who they are even if I don't know them I will always say Gesundheit okay so moving on something else that is just so typically German is how Germans open beer bottles with everything other than a beer bottle opener you will see Germans opening their beer bottle with anything they can get their hands on it could be like the remote control of a television it could be some keys it could be like a knife a fork just anything like if there is like a table next to them they'll just go on the table like they just know how to open beer bottles in every way possible I've seen Germans use their cell phone to open a beer bottle I've seen them use like a plastic bottle to open it if I try and do this I will fail like 99% of the time and Germans are I don't know they just have this like talent for opening beer bottles my husband is no exception he will open his beer with the first thing he can find and he manages to open it like 100% of the time I have no idea how he does this if you're German and you're watching this do you do this too and if you do like how is it the speed in which you do it is it like the angle I I just I can't work it out Something else that is just so German is when somebody comes up to you in a public place. Let's say, I don't know, I'm going to use the supermarket for an example again. Somebody will come up to you with a coin and ask you if this is your coin, like if you've lost it. It could be like a two euro coin, but it could be something as little as a 10 cent coin, but they will come up to you and ask you if this is your coin. And oh, this is just so German. Like, I don't think New Zealanders would do that. I don't know but it just all comes down to like German honesty Germans are so honest in that way in other videos I've talked about the fact that if you lose something in Germany say like a woolly hat or 
a glove or something then most likely you're going to find it again you just have to retrace your steps and that item will be hanging on a tree or just put up on a fence or somewhere that is easy for you to see because Germans they, they don't steal things like that they will leave it in a place where you can find it and you know the same with money Germans are just so honest and this has happened to me like so many times a German will come up to me and say oh did you lose this 10 cents and you know I don't like how how am I to know if this is my 10 cents but anyway they still you know don't want to take it unless they are 100% sure that it doesn't belong to the person close to them. I just find that so sweet. Germans are so trustworthy with things like that. Actually my little boy Matteo he will often see coins lying around on the footpath or something like that and he'll say to me I can't take that can I? that belongs to somebody. I'll be thinking to myself, he probably could take that, you know, nobody's around, nobody's gonna see him pick it up. But since he's grown up in Germany, he just instinctively knows that he shouldn't pick up that coin because that is stealing and somebody might have lost it and they'll come back and pick it up. So I just, I think that is so sweet and I think I love these types of values that are installed in my children from, you know, just living in Germany and being influenced by German mentality in that sense. Okay, so something else that is just so typically German is the very clever way in which Germans pack their recycling bins, more specifically their paper recycling. Germans are able to fit so much into their paper recycling bins and the way they do this is like flattening down every single box or every single carton and just making it just super flat. As a New Zealander coming to Germany I was just not really familiar with the whole concept of recycling at that time and I had no idea how to pack my paper recycling and I would just like put the whole box in the bin. You Germans are probably crazy cringing hearing this that I would just I just chuck the boxes in the bin and you know before I knew it the bin was filled up and I would say to Rob oh we don't have any room in the recycling bin he would come over and look and he'd just like shake his head he would like take everything out of the bin and neatly fold it up and just like stack it in there and just like jump on it so it was super super flat and after that the recycling bin wouldn't even be half full. Germans are just so good at being able to do this like even now I really struggle with trying to get everything in the bin properly. Even if I fold it it just it doesn't work the way my husband does it. Okay, so something else that is just so, so German is when a German underestimates their level of English. So I'm looking back to when I first moved to Germany and this is before I started learning German. I could not speak German at all. And so the only way of me being able to communicate with people was speaking English. So I would often have to say to somebody, do you speak English? And most of the time, like I would say, I would say like 90% of the time I'd ask a German if they spoke English and they would say just a little bit and then they would go on to speak like beautiful flawless English like better than most native speakers. I'm not saying this is the case for every German but this has just happened to me so many times where I was expecting the German to hardly be able to string a sentence together but they speak like perfect fluent English and I don't know why Germans do this uh, I think they they either underestimate their level of English or they just don't want to sound like they're showing off um, they'd rather say that they're not as good and then surprise you or they just simply don't realize that they're awesome so this is just this is a very German thing to do is say I speak little English when actually you're completely fluent. So anyway guys I have come to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. There are so many more points I could talk about but I have run out of time so I might have to make a part two if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you genuinely enjoy my videos I would be so grateful if you could consider subscribing. I know that's so many of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed. I have a goal to reach 60,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I only have a few weeks left. 
I don't think I'm gonna make it, but maybe, just maybe with your help, I will get there. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram, and I will see you again really soon. Bye.